In today's gospel reading, our Lord says, If you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. In response to this, many of the Jewish people, they complain that why is our Lord saying that they are not free? Is he implying that they are slaves? And our Lord points out that if we commit sin, we are slaves to sin. In other words, when we commit sin, there's some consolation, some pleasure, some good that we derive from the sins that we commit. And often, especially when we are feeling down, we want something to pick us up, so we very easily turn back to sin. And sometimes people have a hard time resisting their sinful habits. In other words, they become enslaved to their sins, enslaved by their sins. We all love freedom. We know that freedom is a good thing. In fact, here in Canada, we like to boast that it's a free country. We are free to act as we like. It is true that we don't have total freedom. And it's also true that during this time of the COVID-19 pandemic, many of our freedoms have been curtailed. In other words, we cannot go out as we would like to. We cannot socialize as we would like to. But in general, we would say that we like freedom. And we also would agree that freedom or having freedom makes us happy or content, being able to act the way that we would want to. But what is true freedom? True freedom isn't what some people think, the ability to do anything and everything you want. So take, for example, I might say, well, I'm, I'm going to climb up to the top of a building and jump off and just spread my arms and I'm going to fly around. Am I free to do that? Obviously not. I'm going to fall to the ground. I'm going to end up getting very badly hurt or killed. So in other words, my freedom is within the laws of nature. I can only practice freedom within the bounds of the laws of nature. And in the same way that there are physical laws in nature, there are also moral laws. And these laws can be known by nature or naturally, but God has chosen to reveal them to us. So if I act against the laws of morality, then I'm just going to hurt myself and I'm going to hurt others. So my ability to practice freedom must be within the laws of morality. A good analogy for this is the laws of the road. In other words, the stop sign, the traffic light, the yield sign, all these signs, they play an important part. So if I drive on the road, I am free to travel from point A to point B, but I have to obey the laws of the road. If I do not obey the laws of the road, then it is very likely that I will cause an accident or get into an accident, end up getting hurt and hurting others and not being able to travel from point A to point B. St. Augustine says that freedom is the ability to do the good. Freedom is the ability to do the good. When we are attached to sin, when we have the habit of sin, of, when we have the habit of sin, we are not free to do the good because we are naturally inclined towards our sinfulness. And so we are forced to choose. Either we continue to be attached to our sins and to commit them, in which case we are saying no to God and to God's commandments or to the natural law. Or we choose to follow God and say no to our sinful lives. And yes, even though we may have the habit of sin, we need to struggle against that. But we have to say yes to God. So if freedom is the ability to do the good, what is the good. And of course, most of us know that we need to be nice to the people around us, to practice charity, to love our neighbor as ourselves. But it's more than that. It's also loving God. And, you know, sometimes I think, you know, during this time when we are supposed to be self-isolating, imagine if someone didn't have faith, how bleak their outlook for the future must be, or at least for the present time. So for us, we have hope. We have confidence that God loves us no matter what. And part of the good that we can still do, even in the privacy of our homes, is to love God, to make many acts of faith and devotion towards God, to try to grow in our relationship with God. This is what God gave us freedom for, 
to use that freedom to love God and to love everyone else. So we can read from the scriptures, we can recite many prayers, we can pray the rosary, the divine mercy chaplet, we can read from the Bible and uh, spiritual books, the lives of the saints, we can do so many good things even in the privacy of our home. So we have a purpose. God created us free so that we can do the good, so that we will choose to do the good. We are indeed free, but our freedoms are limited. Let us use our ability to choose well, and let us choose always the good. Amen.